Join me today for some thrifting, some DIY thrifted makeovers, and styling these thrifted finds in my home. You'll also get to meet my dear friend Sarah from Sarah's October Home. You are going to love her channel and all of her amazing thrifted finds. I'll share more about Sarah a little bit later, but for now, let's get into the thrifting. So I thought that I would just kind of quickly pop into the Salvation Army today. This is where I found that amazing vintage bassinet. And if you haven't seen that video, I will place a card in the upper right hand corner that you can click on and go watch that next. I'll also put it in the description below. But I did find this basket, which was actually in the same spot that that bassinet was the day that I found it. All right, so I ended up bringing the basket home, as you can see, and it's just a little dirty, so I thought I would just hose it down and let it sit in the sun and get it nice and aired out. was actually very surprised to also find a lot of nice furniture pieces that day at Salvation Army. We don't often come across nice furniture pieces there, so sadly I didn't need any though. I thought that these frames were kind of pretty. Of course I liked the ornate look to them and there happened to be two that were very similar. So I did bring those home and I'll show you what I did with them here in just a second. So here's like a close up of the frames. I didn't mind the color. They just had like a bone kind of a look to them. I don't know how else to describe it. So I thought I would just take some chalk paint and kind of dry brush that on just to lighten them up a little bit and bring out a little bit more dimension of all that nice detail that they have. And I kept it pretty simple with these. I just did the same exact thing on this one, just dry brushing that white chalk paint. I used the color Fluff by Dixie Belle, and I'll go ahead and put that in the description below. It's a really nice, soft, cottony, kind of a cooler toned white. And just because I thought that this was a little bit too cool solid white, I added some Rust-Oleum Antiquing Glaze. And I kind of ended up not liking that, so I did just dry brush back over top with the same fluff again, and I didn't end up filming that for you guys. But you'll just see the end result looks just like it did before. Again, there were just some really cool pieces at Salvation Army that day, cool furniture pieces. I am on the lookout for a really cool antique desk for my husband and his new office. You'll be seeing that renovation soon, so stay tuned. Sadly, this one was just a little too small for him. So make sure that you subscribe today and hit the notification bell. Here's a little sneak peek at the office makeover. It turned out so amazing. Next, I want to show you this drying rack that I found at a yard sale a couple weeks ago. I'll go ahead and link that video above as well for you. But I want to show you what I did to make it look antique. So this is what it looked like before. You can just tell it's a newer piece. It doesn't have any age on it at all. But I decided that I really wanted one of those antique looking drying racks. Um, my mom actually did find an authentic one at a yard sale that she didn't go to with me. But hey, one of my favorite things to do is to take somewhat newer pieces or even vintage pieces and even make them look a little bit more aged. Like they really have a story to tell. Like they've been around for a long time, a lot longer than me. So all I'm doing is taking some of my favorite Waverly Antiquing Wax and I'm just rubbing it all over. And you're going to see how beautiful that worked. At the end here, I'm going to show you how I have it styled. I think you'll be surprised how I ended up using it in my home. 
Um, but I will say that this was a bit of a pill to stain because there are so many little nooks and crannies to have to get into. Here is how the drying rack turned out with the antiquing wax on it. I like it. I definitely think it has more character now. <laughs> Will. I didn't have enough battery on my phone to take you guys with me, but I dug through a huge pile of art and I found this piece. I'll have to show you later. So here's a print that I found at Goodwill the other day. It was buried under a ton, a ton of other framed prints. It was the very bottom one, but I just kept digging because I saw the frame and I was like, hmm, must be something vintage under there. So this is what it looks like. I do like the frame. I think the print is really pretty. It's just really muted and soft and it's a really nice size. So I picked it up for $10. Uh, I'm not exactly sure where I'm going to put it. That's usually my problem with things like this that I just hate to leave behind, you know, because you know, you're probably never going to come across it again. Um, but if I don't end up using it, um, I think I might try and gift it to somebody. So kind of a pretty vintage print landscape. I have these wooden balls that my mom found at a garage sale for me and I am just going to attempt to make them look like cement because that's just kind of the look that I'm liking right now. So I'm going to use some French linen chalk paint and wipe that all over these, paint them on I mean, and then see what else I need to do to um, give them the cement look that I'm going for. All right, so now I am mixing some spackling in with my paint, my chalk paint, so that I can get a really nice texture on these to make them look a little more like cement. So I'm just kind of mixing half and half together and then I'll just use a brush to kind of stipple it on. Now you could also use baking powder or even I've used cornstarch in order to thicken my paint to give it that really nice um, textured look once you're finished. That looks absolutely beautiful when you apply some wax because then that wax really sinks into all of the nooks and crannies and gives your piece a lot of highlights and dimension. And that's exactly what I'm going to do with these. So definitely keep watching so that you can see how I make them look like cement. Now that the paint is all dry, I took some um, heavier grit sandpaper just to reveal a little bit of that darker wood underneath kind of like the cement got a little bit roughed up and now it is time to apply some white wax and this will just create some highlighting on top of the french linen color now that i have done this um, little diy project and i have it styled in my home i do wish i would have gone a shade darker on the base color um, more of like a darker gray so just keep that in mind if you end up doing a project similar to this um, you don't want to shy away too much from the contrast because then you're just not going to get as dramatic of an effect but I do still really like how they turned out and I'm just using my favorite wax from Dixie Bell. and again I will of course link that in the description below for you to make it easy for you to find just click that little downward arrow and all of the links and everything will be right there waiting for you to shop <music> So here's the color that I'm using. I think I just got this off of Amazon. I'll have it linked below for you guys. I really like this color. Um, if you like any type of cement kind of looks to your pieces, this does a really nice job. All it takes is a couple coats 
of that chalk paint on anything that you want to give that old world French country um, kind of cement look to it and then you can rub some antiquing wax or white wax and just kind of layer and it does a really nice job of creating that effect. Um, these were kind of orangey, brassy bronze. Uh, I didn't really care for it. They, I bought them separately, so they were a little bit different in color. And I wanted to give them some cohesion because I do like to style them together. So I just thought they'd look kind of cool if I also tried to make them look like aged weathered cement. <laughs> here just kind of had a like a dated gold kind of color to it I know. I noticed that I am getting away from a lot of golds and I'm doing more neutrals and um, I guess more things like the, the cements and the stones, things like that, versus a lot of brass and gold. So it's fun to change things up. That is what paint is for, and that is why I thrift and don't spend a lot of money on my decor pieces because I like to change things. My taste and my style changes often. <laughs> I wanted again to take just a few minutes to talk to you guys about my sweet friend Sarah from Sarah's October Home. This video was a collaboration with her. Um, I think that you guys will absolutely love her channel. She does a ton of thrifting. She finds the most amazing things. I'm watching her channel right now just to grab these clips and I'm just like drooling over the things that she finds. They are amazing. Um, please go down into my description below so that you can easily find her channel. Go over there leave her a comment tell her that you're coming from my channel and she is just a lovely inside and out you guys will love sarah's october home <laughs> 